Hello, this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden, and we are going to do a science experiment. We are going to figure out what foods will sink and float. Then afterwards, we're going to talk about the science behind sink and float. There is a real reason why things will sink and why they'll float. Let's find out and have fun with science today. Okay, let's get started with our experiment. Do you have any predictions? A prediction is a big word that means a guess. So be thinking and making a guess as to what you think it will do. Do you think it will sink? That means it will go to the bottom of the water. Or do you think it will float? That means it'll float on top of the water. What do you think? Let's find out. I'm going to start with a coconut first. This is a coconut. Let's see what's gonna happen. It floats! Wow, it floated on top. So I'm gonna take it out and put it on the float side. Okay, next I'm gonna do these little grapes. These are purple grapes. There's also grapes that come in green, but these are purple. Let's see what these purple grapes do. <gasps> they sunk! They went to the bottom! Wow! Okay, let's get them out. Which side do they go on? The sink or the float? The sink. Let's put it on the sink side. Hmm. I wonder what this big pineapple will do. This is a very big, giant pineapple. Any predictions? Do you think it'll sink to the bottom or float on top? Let's find out. It floats! Wow! Were you right? Did you make a good prediction? If not, that's okay. That's all about being a scientist. You find and dis you discover new things. Let's put it on the float side. Hmm, I wonder about these little blueberries. These are blueberries. They're a yummy, delicious fruit. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Some are floating and some are sinking. Oh, that's tricky. Mm, that's very interesting. All right, so the ones that are floating we'll put on the float side. And the ones that are sinking we'll put on the sink side. There we go. That was very interesting. Let's try these lemons. These are called lemons. Hmm. <gasps> they both floated. They're floating. So, let's put those over here. All right, what about the orange. Let's figure out what the orange will do. An orange is a fruit. Hmm, what about the orange? It floats too! Wow! Hmm, what about this zucchini? This is a zucchini and that one's a cucumber. Let's do a zucchini first. Floats. Wow, interesting. Hmm, I wonder what the cucumber will do. It floats too. Wow. What about the squash? The squash is similar to a zucchini, but it's yellow. Hmm. It floats too. 
got this apple. Do you know what an apple will do? It floats! Wow! Hmm. A banana. Do you know what a banana will do? Any guesses? It floats. Whoa! Another float. A lime. This is called a lime. Whoa. I don't think it can decide. Oh, it's floating back up. It's floating. It floats. That was close. I thought it was going to sink. Let's do the carrot. Carrot. It sunk. The carrot sinks to the bottom. Two left. Let's do the strawberry. It floats. And the last one is a tomato. Any last predictions? Let's find out. Oh, I don't know. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? Oh, it floats. All right. Let's talk about the science behind what just happened. What is it that determines whether an object will sink or float? Whether an object sinks or floats depends on the object's density. Density, that's a big word. Can you say it with me? Density. Inside of all non-living objects are tiny little pieces or particles called molecules. Well, density is how you measure how closely those particles are. I like to think of it as little tiny dots or balls inside of an object. If the balls are really tight and close together inside of the object, that means it's really dense. So dense that the object will sink to the bottom of the water. If the object has loose particles and the balls or dots are really far apart and there's a lot of space and air between them, then that means it's less dense. And all that space in between helps the object to float. So, if the object is really dense, like this carrot, it will sink to the bottom. But, if it is less dense, it will float, like all of these fruits and vegetables did. I hope you enjoyed watching our sink and float science experiment with food today. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can have fun learning new things, especially science. Thank you, God, for all that you have created and blessed us with to enjoy and to learn about. Help us to let our light shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.